Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the process of how to list your product on Amazon via flat file. So what would you need to do is you need to retrieve um, your product category specific flat file from Amazon Seller Central. For that, hover over to your inventory tab section and click add a product via upload. It's gonna take you to this interface from download an inventory flat file, from search tool, enter the main keyword of your product. Let's say that your product is hair roller, so I've typed it roller here. It's gonna show me multiple different products uh, which lies in the different main and, and subcategories. So if you're not confused of your right category, click the, the product uh, exactly as per main and subcategories in which your product lies. In case in, if you're confused on finding the exact main and subcategories of your product, you can go on and watch my video on browse tree guide. I'll add the card right at the top section here. So you can go on and check uh, the video from where you can um, actually extract um, the main and subcategories of your product. So my product is hair roller. I already know that this is the main category and these are the subcategories of my product. So I click select hair. When I click select hair, it's gonna add up in summary of your selected products here. So we're gonna move down, scroll down to click generate template. It'll automatically download a file. This is basically our flat file, which we need to update to list product on Amazon. <clears throat> so this is the file that we have just downloaded. You can see there are a number of sheets here. You need to go on and click template. Right, so this is, these are the fields that you need to, uh, to fill in to list your product on Amazon. So this is the latest version that you can see in here. Uh, from the leftmost column, when you click, you can see a drop down button here. Um, in most of the cases, it'll only show you one option. It basically relates to the flat file that you just downloaded. So if you select the right category, uh, you will be able to, uh, to get in the, the right, uh, the relevant option here. Seller SQ is basically your product identifier in case if there is any issue uh, on your listing or anything that you want to discuss with Amazon, you can mention this number and talk to Amazon and Amazon will know which product you are talking about. So you can use any number here. You can even use alphabet here uh, like that and I'll go on. Uh, in brand name, you need to mention the brand name. So if your brand is already registered, you, your drop down will show that brand that is already registered. In case there is no brand here, and you want to go on and proceed listing your product on Amazon, you can type in generic here and it'll process. However, if you want to list your product under a specific brand and that brand is not registered, it is very likely possible that you end up getting an error called as error code 5665. Now this is the error that Amazon uh, have recently uh, launched in its algorithm and whenever you try to list your product on Amazon under a specific brand Amazon asks you to verify your product so and, and there are a lot of service providers on Fiverr who basically resolve and fix this error without you without your need to register brand up front um, I'll, I'll mention some of the links in the description that I personally used uh, in case if you find yourself stuck in that situation you can go on and, and check those check with those um, service providers uh, but let's just say that I want to go with the brand here and the item name that you need to mention your product title so any product title that you need to mention you can enter it here this is the product ID number this these are basically uh, your product identifier uh, your product universal identifier and these are basically uh, the numbers that you purchase uh, now there are a lot of different uh, providers of the of the, the barcode uh, but in order to fill this first you need to select option from here uh, if you are you're purchasing UPC uh, you can select this and mention the number here if you are uh, selling on Amazon in UK you need to go on and select this EAN and mention the barcode number here that you purchase now if you don't know from where to get these numbers there's a website called uh, JS1 and Amazon do have partnership with this um, with this service provider uh, they provide barcodes uh, authentic barcodes uh, which you can use on Amazon to list product on Amazon. So you can go on and check offers. You can purchase either one, you can purchase 10, and there are a lot of different options on GS1 that you can go on and check. 
so let's just say that I found a list product on U in, in Amazon UK and I have a barcode from JS1 uh, that is EAN number uh, for UK you also need you always need to select EAN number uh, you, you can go on with UPC on uh, on US uh, but for UK if you purchase it from JS1 you will be selecting EAN number here uh, and then you go on and select that for example if you are not listing your product for the first time and you are going on and partially updating your content on Amazon then you need to go on and click ASIN here and here you will enter the ASIN number then right so I'm assuming that we are listing a product for the first time so I'll be going with the barcode here all right and the manufacturer section you can go on and, and type in your brand name however if you don't want to mention your brand name here you can go on and um, and type in any manufacturer name that you want to enter browse node uh, recommended browse node will be automatically extracted from here it basically relates to the, to the selection that you make here so most of the time you will be getting only one option and it's gonna give you only one option here as well so as I told you we can mention it here Curlzify in your case you can do any other brand here you will be mentioning your product description and here these are the uh, there are some fields that are they'll be different in your case depending on your product so if it is relevant to your product uh, you can go on and select that if it's not relevant to your product then you do there's no need to mention anything here uh, however it is mandatory to add a bullet point so and some of the fields are mandatory for example the product title is mandatory product ID is mandatory the type is mandatory also these are mandatory terms product description is mandatory uh, bullet point at least one bullet point is mandatory so you can mention your bullet point here simply um, if you and now one point is mandatory uh, but if you want to add more points you can add these on point 0.5. Point now here are some of the fields that you feel if it is relevant to your product you can go on and select that uh, in my case let's just say that this product is relevant to all type of uh, here so you can go on and select it all right some of the attributes uh, you will find on browse tree guide there is a video in which I have thoroughly explained on how to how to download browse tree guide and from your browse tree guide you will find some of the refinements that that is giving the valid values of some of the attributes so color map is one of those attributes that is always available in browse tree guide uh, color name as well so you need to go on and check that video I'll, I'll post that in the card here as well again uh, go on and check the video and in that video I have uh, thoroughly explained how to extract the valid terms for some of the attributes uh, for different products here you can if it is related to your product you can enter anything here uh, same goes here if it's related to your product let's say just say that my product does not have a power plug so i'm gonna go, go on and select the, the suitable let's say, no plug included right or it's not applicable whatever your case is right all right so this is the the two fields that a lot of people get confused and i'm going to tell you one important thing that you need to do here you need to go on and click count here and, and type in one here just follow this no need to go into detail of that just follow this uh, if there's any safety warning country of origin is also one of the the mandatory term uh, let's just say that if you are if your supplier is in China you can go on and select China in here but if it's from different country you can go on and select that uh, if it contains liquid you can mention as per your, your section main image is also one of the mandatory field uh, and at least one image you should be uploading uh, you should be mentioning the url here uh, in order to uh, to to successfully upload your flat file uh, on amazon and list your product uh, if you if you can upload more than one it'll be okay but at least main image should be filled with url um, for that i'm going to show you uh, how you can do it right so this is the website that you can use to generate your product uh, image URL. Uh, it's called postimages.org. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go and choose product. Let's just say that my product is in desktop. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select the product. 
and when it's completed it's going to give us um, multiple urls what you need to do is what you need to uh, go on and select uh, the direct link and this is your product url so you'll copy that uh, from here or you can copy it manually and then go on and and paste that in your product url so the url that you have just generated uh, you're going to copy that and paste that here uh, if you want to do with um, with other images you can do that here but these are the the terms that you can go on and later add from your amazon seller central so uh, if, if you find it suitable you can go on and do that the exact same process for all these right now here are some of the important terms that you need to understand uh, in this section basic uh, sorry update delete uh, you will see a drop down it's going to show you three different options right so if you are listing a product uh, for the very first time just like in our case uh, you need to select update all right but for the case that you want to partially update data uh, for that case you will select partially update right uh, in case if if you want to delete the product you can do that but we will cover that in the later video uh, but here you need to mention either from from these two options if it's already listed on Amazon and you want to partially update some of the content then you can go on and select uh, the partial update however in our case as we as you know that we are proceeding to list product on Amazon we'll be selecting update right so I'm gonna go on and select and go on proceed right here are basically search terms right so these are back-end search terms that you need to enter and there is a video uh, that I've made on how to extract the search terms and check the search terms of, of your competitors so I'm gonna post a, a, a card here uh, you can go and watch that and build up your search terms uh, let's just say my hair rollers or self grip rollers so you're gonna end up mentioning your backend search terms in this section right obviously you need to mention the product dimensions so first of all you need to select the unit if it's in centimeter millimeter whatever it is and then you will mention the number here right same goes for the width height and unit of measurement you can go and first select the unit um, let's just say it's and let's just say anything millimeter make sure that whatever you select they are all same uh, following the same standards let's just say if you're following si then they should be following si if it is like uh, english units you can go on and select that size map is also uh, some of the terms that you need to check in as per your requirement all right so one thing is important that all these uh, these fields are not mandatory to fill to be filled if anything is relevant it is better to fill it uh, because it's going to to get your product listing optimized enough and the more optimized your listing is the more the more data it is um, in in your listing uh, the more algorithm going to understand what your product is and it's going to, to increase your relevancy all right so it's a fulfillment center in this section if you're doing Amazon FBA you're gonna go you need to go on and select this option however in most of the cases you will find merchant option a here as well but my account is basically limited to sell on uh, on FBA only so it's showing me this option here here again what is the package dimension so here what you need to enter is the dimensions of your product including the packaging so you gonna you need to go on and select appropriate unit of measurement let's just say it's kilogram and it just says one kilogram or whatever it is you can go on and select that here here if here you need to mention the product price but these are not mandatory fields you can later go on and, and do it from your seller central let's say, say that you want to mention it here then you can go on and select any price in, in your respective marketplace uh, price is done now what you need to do you need to go on and after all the entries are filled what you need to do is that you need to go on and you need to save your file all right once this file is saved 
Right, so our, our flat file is ready, completely edited. Um, now what we need to do is we need to upload our, our file on Amazon. So right again from your inventory section to add product we upload. Uh, it took us to this interface from where we actually download it. Uh, when you go in here to upload your inventory file, you need to go in and select this upload your inventory file. When you click that, when you click that, it'll take you to this interface. Now this is where you need to upload the file. Now one thing is important here, you can go on and select uh, from the section that you have uh, saved your file. It was rollers here. Uh, so I need to select the exact same. But the most important thing is that your file name does not change in all cases. Wherever you save it, save it exactly the same uh, the, with the same name that Amazon uh, provided you upfront. Now, uh, now if you want to have any alerts about a listing status you can go on and mention any of your email here and when you click upload it's it's going to take you to this tab here right so this tab here will basically show you the status now it normally takes about 10 to 15 minutes to show you status here but in case uh, if your inventory file have any issue it's going to show you an error something like this error that uh, records that require further action for you as saved as drafts so what you need to do is in, in that case if there is an error you can go and click download your processing report and when you download the processing report it's going to go and show you in which section uh, you made a mistake or you need to edit anything in case if you find there is no error you'll find that total number of records submitted is equal to one and your file will be processed successfully and you will be able to see that uh, your listing uh, is, is created in about 10 to 15 minutes. I hope it clears all your basic confusions. Um, if you like the video, if you learned anything from the video, I would request you to go on and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, have a good day. Thank you.